Here the power of the Sunnies, welcome to another Test Drive Unlimited video. Before I get started, be sure to burn up that like button, destroy that subscribe button, speed through that notification bell, leave a good comment down below, follow me on Twitter, the great Sunnies, check out all my other YouTube videos, I have playlists, check out Blue Vivocity and Sonic Central, their YouTube links are in the description, are in the description as always, and if you guys are new to this channel, be sure to do everything I just said, it really helps out a lot. So, I figured out what I want to do in our next part. We are going to do the V12 Screamers. We're finally going to do it. And I have just the car for it. Car unlocked in the Lamborghini thing. Grand Prix, whatever. Or GP. We're going to use our Lamborghini Mira P400 SV. We're going to do some upgrading. I did check ahead of time to see if this car, I could upgrade it. And I can for free. That's what I was wanting to do. And if you guys missed the last part, I bought a new house. I did the Mercedes series. I did two master level time trials. And we got them both done. The tunnel time trial took me two tries. Because the first one, I don't know what I was doing. I was apparently being too cautious. Being too careful. And then the second try, I beat it. So, that's what happened in the last part. I'm also going to do a little something I have not done in this LP yet. And that is get a different color for this car. This Your color does not look very good on this car. I don't know exactly what color this is, but we're going to finally go to a paint shop. Um, this is our first time painting a car. It's very easy. It's very understandable. It's very cheap. I think it's like 10000 Honestly, that's quite a bit for a paint job. It's yeah, it's 10,000. So we have many, many, many colors. Okay, so this color is a Verde. Um, what color do I want? There's a lot of colors for this car. I love the gold on this car. Um, purple doesn't look very good. Um, I don't know. What color do I want? Let's go with a yellow. So we're gonna do our yellow. And get our paint job done here. Very simple process. And the game loads after you complete a paint job. It looks ready to go. Ready to race this thing. So that was um that was the paint shop. Your itinerary is being and, yeah, we can just teleport right over here. V12 Screamers. It's time to have some fun. Racing more Lamborghinis. Our first opponent is a DB9 Aston Martin. So, it should be easy. I do have to be very careful with this car. It spins out very easily. If you get hit... Just the slightest. I will spin out. So here we go. I love driving this car. Very fun. And very drifty. I had to do so many transitions just to get back to where I originally was before I got into this car. Before I even started the video. I made sure... I had to make sure if this car was going to be able to be upgraded. And... Yeah. I needed to check the color of the car. So this is probably going to be my one of my longer LPs, I think. I'm just owning this Aston Martin. I'm sure this club you guys have been wanting me to do for a while. 
It's just been sitting there. No, like, not completed. My last club I did was Club Midship. We all know how that went, because the Zonda cheated in that race. I still think he cheated for that victory. Oh boy. We... I am blowing this Aston Martin out of the water. Oh god. <laughs> also, high fire truck. How far ahead am I? I'm really far ahead of him. I had so much speed. I was going at like 198. And then I lose all my momentum at the end. Oh well. Still gonna win. No cheatsies from the AI this time. And there we go. That was the first race of seven, I think. I can never remember how many club races there are. And since this game is used, you get to hear extra sounds. Yeah, it's six races. That uh, was seven. No, it's six. I did not see who I was going to be up against. We'll find out uh, at the beginning of this race. Another Aston Martin. A Vanquish, I think. Yes, Vanquish. This should be another cakewalk race. Also, I hope you see who, see who the top competitor was. If you didn't see, well, you'll find out when I'm done with this race. Oh god. so I wouldn't have to redo the race. Because that magically teleports you back onto the road. If you press both analog sticks, you will magically go back onto the road. And my bar is nearly gone. So if I would have been in there any longer, I would have been screwed and I would have to restart this race. Very cautious, so I was afraid my bar was gonna get uh, to the very end. And there we go. Oh gosh, my bar got so close to uh, being empty. It was uh, too close. Now we shall find out our next opponent, and you'll see who the top opponent is. Look at that, McLaren F1. I'm going up against my copy, Amira P400 SV. Yeah, woo, I guess. Hope you enjoyed it.
Hope you like my car choices. Because I think they're good. And here we go. A very short one. And this should not take very long. I went over the guard route and just did my magical teleportation thing. Yeah, that's how light this car is. That was, uh, that's something I was worried about. The lighter the car, the easier it is to freaking spin it out. Doesn't seem like I would have had any concerns even with the fail, but whatever. Interesting way to end the race. Hit a palm tree, spin out, and just... Just... Spin right back around. I got going again. I made a little noise, but I don't think it, the camera caught it. Oh well. It's fine. Oh boy, Mercilago Cupe. Should be an interesting race. This is A class now I'm gonna be up against for these last three races. It should be interesting. Two, one, and here we go. Another short one. That's probably the worst Lamborghini as far as like launch wise because it takes forever to get out of first gear. The Mercilago Cupe is probably one of the easiest A-class cars to remotely beat. I am a little nervous for that McLaren F1, but, I mean, you know, I'm driving a B-class car, I should feel comfortable. Excuse me, truck. While well, I just cleared the way. The next race I'm not gonna be that worried about either, because it's a Pagani Zonda, and it's the same one who cheated by a different person. And another quick race in the books. Oh, very tired. You could tell it was close because you can hear his engine sound. So on to our next A-class opponent, the C12S. Pagani's on. That was a little delayed, but it's it's fine. Same song again. Let's see how we do against the Zonda. Good job. Freaking hit a traffic car. That gives me the... Well, then I just did that, too. Well, I had the, the advantage because I had more momentum, but since I crashed into a traffic car, there went my momentum. Yeah, I got this. Another easy race. Now our final one. Oh great. I get to face off against the McLaren F1. Probably won't be good. I think 
This is my only car I have. Let me look. Oh, I have other cars. I was just gonna use the Mira P400 SV. Should totally use that DB9 even though probably wouldn't win. Because, I mean, we all saw how that overlook race went in several parts ago. Yes, I'm gonna have the advantage because there's turns at the start. Actually got a surprisingly better launch than him. That's what I needed to do. That's what I need to do. Or I needed to take care of him at the beginning. Oh, this car does not handle that well. So far, making it look pretty easy. Gosh darn you, traffic sign. We've been getting this song a lot lately. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just a good song. Tom tells me that, yeah, this race has not been very entertaining. Oh, this is not gonna end well. Goodness, I am not being pressured. And that was very easy. Next vehicle upgrade is free. So we're finally done with the V12 Screamers. Um, again, I'm sure you guys were really wondering when I was going to do it. And well, no, it's done. We're done with the V12 Screamers. Probably do Club Coup de Ville next. In the next part. Whoa. Um, Your itinerary is being recalculated. Oh my gosh, the song just keeps coming up. Let me just turn around here. Uh, so, yeah, very successful part, better than the last one, because I failed the tunnel. Uh, did it. First try I failed, second try I got it, but, yeah. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to burn up that like button, destroy that subscribe button, speed through the notification bell, leave a good comment down below, follow me on Twitter at the Great Cinese, check out all my other YouTube videos, I have playlists, and check out Blue Vivocity and Sonic Central 30, the links are in the description as always. And if you guys are new to this channel, be sure to do everything I just said, because it really helps out a ton. And, uh, yeah. Club Coupe de Ville. Probably our next one we're gonna tackle. Anyway, with that, this is the Great Sine saying, catch you guys soon, and I'm not really sure what this traffic is doing right now. It looks like they're doing the Harlem Shake. <laughs> anyway, with that, this is the Great Sine saying, catch you guys soon.